We've had multiple threading, I think. Okay, it has not worked with previous one, We have in the light corner, uh, team number nine, like team threads. awesome. Oh, last year didn't. And in the oh, dark okay. corner, we have team number 26 called Statabot. And they're currently still calibrating their robots. Uh, Statabot actually did pretty well in the mock competition. Uh, or in the uh, seating around, I think. Uh, in the so seating, each too. Each team okay. appears to have yeah. their own they, uh, cheering section. They have to score very close to the target number of points. And they deploy okay. their balls They're by ready? shaking so violently. Countdown. We have yeah. five, Looks like four, we have a lot of starving three, teams, two, actually. One. Let's hope they can get their strategy through. Oh, okay. They're both They're on their way. It. They're both doing it. Oh, here oh, the oh no. It's so shaking. Team Awesome, no, I think, tried to score in their number two bin. <laughs> oh, didn't quite get that last one out in time. Hmm. Nice. So no, did, are, are there any points yet? Oh. Okay. And Statabot's um, grinding itself against. Statabot was able the to other get the other two point bins. And I two, two, two points. Two points. Awesome oh, their oh no! Bin, but oh, but didn't missed, quite make missed it. Missed the others and though. Statabot has actually deposited one ball in their number two bin, so they're currently in the lead. I want an explanation of this uh, shuddering from from Statabot. Well, you see, uh, the Ray and Maria Stata Center on campus here <laughs> recently had a uh, leak issue, and there was a big controversy the about quite over whether yet. it was the architects or you know just poor management. And we're waiting to see if the robots will try anything interesting. <laughs> so this must be uh, sort of a joke uh, and structural issue regarding round, it. Hmm. And it's a win for Statabot. Good. Statabot wins.